Hi everyone, um, this video, um, the first for quite a while, is all about the summer holidays and periods when we have time off. And the reason I wanted to do a video on this is from past experience, I know that um, as a when I was in school and in university, periods like this when we have long times off, it's the time when our eating disorder becomes most strong, it's the time where our eating disorder says, you have 24-7 to dedicate to me, to dedicate to your eating disorder. You have this time in which you can do as much of your eating disorder habits as possible, as much as your eating disorder behaviours, and it can really take hold and really take control because it's there and you don't have any commitments as such. Well, you may have some sort of degree, but not as many as you have before when you're at school, college, or university. And so it's important that we acknowledge this and don't let our eating disorder become strong and become in control. And we need to gain control of this time because your eating disorder will say, now you can do this diet because there's no one around to monitor you. Your parents may be at work, you're not at school with your friends and people checking up on you. And your eating disorder say, you can lose X amount of weight in such and such time. You can use, do this diet, you can go to the toilet, binge purge, without anyone noticing, without anyone realising as such because you've got all of this time which is in your hands and that is the, what I want to say. This time is in your hands. It is in your hands, not your eating disorder's hands. So you have the power and control to be able to decide what you want to do with this time and it is your decision, not your eating disorders, whether you dedicate it to your eating disorder or you dedicate it to life to moving forward. The best thing I think you can do is really put your mindset in the place of recovery because you are the only one that can do that and it sounds bloody easy but it is bloody hard. So you need to say to yourself, this is the summer in which I really put my efforts into recovery. This is the summer where by the end of it I will come out a stronger person. I will go back to university school work a stronger person, a person control where recovery is possible. So you really need to fill yourself with motivation. And like I said before, motivation comes from you and you can fill your room, your house with this light, with motivation for recovery. Put post-it notes up, put things in your diary, put motivational quotes up, um, posters of all the things that you've put on that you want from recovery. And this is something you can spend time doing that. You can spend time making collages and it sounds lame, but like I said, it does work and can motivate you. You can spend your time doing this. And you can also spend your time ordering some books off the internet which have workbooks and things for you to be able to really engage in recovery which can be provided over the internet rather than for a doctor. And I will list some of these books that are available on the internet and I've used them and have found helpful because when you've got this time it's good to start making it proactive. And so I think what you need to do rather than spend your days sitting there with nothing to do thinking about your eating disorder you need to buy one of these, a lovely calendar, and you should fill this with as much as possible. Fill your days with as much as possible as you possibly can. Possible, possible, possible. Um, so, obviously, you're thinking, I don't have the money to do things every single day. And I'm not saying that you should be doing something extravagant every day to take your mind off your eating disorder. I'm saying that you should spend time looking up what's free and also spending time on yourself. And this can be used through reading, because reading can be really, really motivational. And I always say that I think it's best not to go towards books which are centered around eating disorders, because there are a lot of eating disorder books out there, because they can be triggering, and I've always found them triggering. Um, so I've just got a few books here. Um, this is a book, if you want to laugh, um, it's bloody hilarious. It's All My Friends Are Superheroes by Andrew Kaufman. It's such a funny book. It's so short. It's really big words. And um, it just makes you laugh and it will take your mind off of it. And sometimes laughter is the best therapy. Um, and then I've got two motivational books, as I always say. Paulo Coelho is my inspiration. He is my god. And Veronica Decides to Die is one of the books that I find the most helpful with my eating disorder. It really puts things in perspective. It's about a woman who believes that she is going to die soon and um, all the things that come with that, that fear and that sort of hope of 
of a freedom of release. Um, she takes an overdose of sleeping pills and then her life goes all haywire. It's about how that inspiration of having a goal, having something to work against, really can fill your life with light. And I really do find it a very good book that I think you should read. I didn't really describe it very well. It is not depressing. It is amazing. Um, second one is The Monk Who Sold His Ferrari. It's a very good book. Um, really inspirational if you're into philosophy and just sort of um, that sort of thing. <laughs> Sorry, not articulating myself well today. Not done video in a while. Um, so yeah, that's that. Um, but I want to say as well, these are all distractions. These are all distraction techniques. And avoiding something is not the best way of dealing with it. Distracting is different. You need to keep in perspective that your eating disorder is there and you don't want to go back to it. You don't want to indulge in it as such. Um, so it's important to recognize these things. Um, with books like these, I think it's amazing to have a book or underline it, buy it, so you can underline all the things that you find inspirational, write them down. Um, I always try and find a one inspirational quote a day, and at the end of my videos, I'm going to start putting them at the end, so you can have a bit of inspiration um, that you can also write down. So stick to your plan. As I always say, plan, plan, plan. Tell your family, your friends, this is a time to reach out to those around you and really, really try and recover. If your parents aren't around, so maybe can we have dinner together? That's scary, I know, but use the resources you have and really try and focus for recovery. It's all about mindset at the end of the day. And it is really, really hard if you to recover if you don't want to recover, if you don't have that positive mindset to recover. Um, if you get forced to go in hospital and you don't want it, there is probably a 98% chance you won't recover because you don't want to recover and you don't have it in your mind. So it's all about trying to reinforce yourself Think about all the people that you aspire to, all the people that have recovered because it is possible. Um, I'm not saying I'm 100% recovered, but I'm an example of someone who's had their eating disorder since a very, very, very young age and has managed to turn things around. And it's only in the past year and a half, two years, that I've been able to do this. And I thought recovery wasn't possible at all. But I know these periods of time are extremely difficult. There's another thing I want to mention is there's this resource which I can't exactly describe, but it's a way of getting things through the day. So if you don't have, if you have time on your hands, it's a way of trying to get yourself to encourage yourself to sort of. Right, this game is called Super Better. It's a game which you can do online. It's not a game as such as in a computer game where you're fighting demons. But it has things which you can put in your heroes and villains and the way that you want to fight these things. So your villain will perhaps be your eating disorder. Another villain may be a trigger such as maybe a bad family household or not being able to get out as much, not being able to um, socialize and be engaging in these situations. And it's about fighting these fears, fighting your villains, your demons and doing little things that can help you. For example, um, it will ask you whether you've had lunch today and you click, click yes, I've fought that demon, I've won. Um, it could be like go out and stand in the sun for 10 minutes, go and see a friend. It's all these little things and it sounds daft but it really helps and one of my friends has passed it on to me and it's fantastic and she's doing brilliantly. Um, so I'm going to put that on at the bottom of the video. It's called Super Better and I think you should check it out. And um, I'm going to make a profile so you can add me so I can check up on all you guys and give you help and give you advice and be one of your super better heroes that will help you beat this eating disorder. Um, so basically, yeah, that's at the end of the video and um, I hope you're all okay. Once again, contact me. I'll be back in contact with you all within the next few days and um, from now on, I have the internet. Um, so this is the quote that I have for you all guys. Um, it is, no one day is like another. Each tomorrow has its special miracle, its magic moment in which old universes are destroyed and new stars are created. And I think this quote is amazing because you can see these old universes as your eating disorder. You can destroy each universe, each little bit of your eating disorder every day. And when you do that, new opportunities open. You can 
become yourself. You can live your life. You can get out there and enjoy your summer. Enjoy being 14, 20, 30, 70. You can enjoy it being whoever you are, wherever you are. And um, so, yeah, that's it. I am sending you so much love and peace and happiness and spirit and light. And um, I'll speak to you soon, okay? All right, much love. Bye, everyone.